Hey everyone, it's Riley here. And today, join me as I hike the Breakneck Ridge, one of the premier destinations in Putnam County that gets over 100,000 annual hikers. And this time I'm going to be going on the new Ninnum Trail. So join me as we live history. On your way to Breakneck Ridge, you'll notice the ruins of the Stearns Cornish Estate, which was built around the 1920s uh, and existed until 1958, until there was a fire. Behind me is the swimming pool of the 1920s, uh, so it's still intact, but I would not go swimming. Okay, so you get a glimpse of what it was like to live 100 years ago in the 1920s when this house was constructed by the Stern family and then later occupied by the Cornish family. So it's a little throwback in time here as the stone has remained and you can explore, but obviously be safe. Stern family called this Northgate. We get the 1963 Central Hudson bought the estate and was planning on converting it into a gas power plant. In 1967, the gas and electric company sold the property and eventually became incorporated into the Hudson Highlands State Park. So right here in Putnam County, the birth of the environmental movement happened right here in the 1960s. All right, so we leave the estate behind. Okay, so now I'm on 9D and I'm heading north towards Breakneck Ridge. So I'm at the base of Breakneck Ridge, one of the most uh, desirable hikes in the Hudson Valley where people come from all over the country to do this day hike. The hike is about 1,200 feet up to the flagpole. So it's um, a moderate to challenging hike. So I would not recommend this as your first hike, uh, but if you think you're up to it, hopefully this video will help inspire you. At the Breakneck Trailhead, you get some options about which loop you want to take. For today, I'm going to take the short loop. Okay, so as you're about to head up Breakneck Ridge, there's plenty of disclaimers uh, saying that this is a strenuous hike and it's not for the faint of heart. So uh, make sure you follow all the guidelines before you embark. Hudson River is a tidal estuary and it's deep enough for ocean going vessels to go all the way from New York to Troy, New York. Hudson has always been the key for commerce and trade and it's still evident about a quarter of the way there. So I gotta keep going onward. Made it to the top of Breakneck Ridge. So the rocks on each side of the Hudson are some of the oldest in New York State, dating back to over a one billion years ago when you had a shallow ocean and you had moving continents of North America that folded up these rocks to become known as the Hudson Highlands. After the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago, it rounded out these mountains 
So you have Storm King Mountain, nice and round. You have the Catskill Mountains. And when the water filled in, it created what they called a drowned river. The Hudson River is a river of firsts. It was first inhabited by the Lene Lapenape. And we know natives have inhabited this area for about 10,000 years. Back in the 1600s, Europeans uh, first sailed up this river with Henry Hudson. It's also the first line of defense in the American Revolution. And Hudson River painters established the Hudson River School of Painting as the first American art school here in America in the 19th century. In the 20th century, it became the first river to be protected by environmentalists with the movement to save Storm King Mountain and to protect the Breakneck Hudson Highlands area. So it's important for us to keep this tradition going of being history makers and protectors of the Hudson Highlands. A great place to take your historical selfie is right here, the Storm King Mountain in the background as the birthplace of the modern day environmental movement. Behind me is Bannerman's Castle and he stored armaments uh, around the time of the Civil War period, and he has a castle and there's ruins that you can go check out uh, also. Behind me on the Orange County side is West Point Military Academy, and during the American Revolution, there was a chain that connected the Putnam side at Constitution Island with West Point as part of Fortress West Point to defend the Hudson Highlands from British attack. So Breakneck Bridge, according to the myth, got its name because there was a, a bull that was loose in this area and a farmer wanted to get rid of the bull so he chased them off the mountain and tragically the bull broke its neck. So where I'm standing is Putnam County so Breakneck Ridge hike is probably one of the most famous hikes in Putnam County. So it's a challenging hike but definitely manageable. So I'm approximately 50 miles north of New York City. That would be Orange County across the other side of the river. Uh, there's Newburgh Bay across there. If I keep going north for about another 100 miles, that'll take me to Albany. And if I go east towards Connecticut, that will get me to Carmel in about 25 miles. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna take the Ninnam Trail, and that's a brand new trail that's going to take me back to the parking lot. And it was opened in July of 2021. So we're one of the first to explore it. So this will offer a staircase down and a much safer way to descend breakneck. Uh, so you can also come up this way if you don't want to do the rock scramble. Okay, so I'm on the Daniel Ninnam Trail heading down from Breakneck Ridge, and I'm descending 540 steps that have been carved from the boulders in this area and placed here to make a safer descent down the ridge. Each of these steps weigh approximately 500 pounds, so it took the dedicated effort of trail makers since 2020 to 2021, and in total, these stones weigh nearly a quarter million pounds. This part of the trail is named after Daniel Ninnam, and Daniel Ninnam was the chief of the Wappingers who lived in this area during the American Revolution. He fought alongside the British in the French and Indian War, and when he returned, he found out his land his ancestral land was taken from him by the Philippe's family. So he went to England to fight for his land. Unfortunately, the case was dismissed. But during the American Revolution, he's going to fight on the Patriot side, and he's going to give his life at the Battle of Kingsbridge, which today is now near Van Cortlandt Park. So this is a small tribute to honor the Wappinger people and Daniel Ninnam and his son Abraham, who died for the American cause in the American Revolution. So it's up to us to preserve the landscape of the Hudson Valley for our community and for ourselves, but also for future generations. In light of the recent report put out by the United Nations 
calling for the world put on notice as a code red for climate change. In the 20th century, the fight to save Storm King Mountain was the start of the environmental revolution. And that offers hope and inspiration for us as we deal with climate change and an uncertain future. New Yorkers have been answering the call for hundreds of years. And now it's our turn in the Hudson Valley to do our part and lead the way in the 21st century for a more sustainable planet. So hopefully these views and the story of people such as Daniel Ninnam will inspire us. All right, so I just emerged from the Wilkinson Memorial Trailhead, and now I'm on 9D. So later in the day, you'll notice the cars lining up along 9D fills up. So get here early in order to beat the rush and conquer Breakneck Ridge. Okay, so be careful when you're walking along 9D. It is a busy road, but there is a wide enough shoulder. Here's Breakneck Ridge is right on the border of Putnam County and Dutchess County to the north. So Breakneck is here and welcome back into Putnam County. All right, so at this point, I'm getting off the road and going back onto the Brook Trailhead and that's going to bring me back to the Washburn parking lot where I started. back onto the Blue Trail, which is the Stearns Cornish Estate. So you get to go check out the ruins again. All right guys, so I made it back to the parking lot and it took me about three, three and a half hours or so. The park office is currently closed. It's only open on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, so I can say that I conquered Breakneck Ridge and got some exercise along the way. All right, so keep living history.